Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are going to be taking a look at a bunch of really cool stuff I got at Aldi. I went shopping uh, this morning and I picked up some great stuff. Now like always we're going to start with the crinkly stuff first. Now let's see, we have several types of bread here today. This is one that we, we purchase pretty frequently here. This is from Love and Fresh. These are their hot dog buns. Now these are 58 cents per pack at my Aldi. Unfortunately, when I bought them, I, when I went to get some, they only had a few packs left and they all looked kind of traumatized. I picked the one that looked the least the least uh, terrified. It actually has one bun in here that appears like somebody stepped on it or something. It's all squished. It's kind of hard to see because it's tucked down behind the label, but the others looked all right for the most part. So this pack is not as pretty as they normally are, um, but it was the least squished pack of hot dog buns that they had. Now with Love and Fresh, you will notice the little label here. This is their logo. In this little section here, we have an L and an F that uses a stalk of wheat as the little hash mark on the F. Lovin' is spelled L apostrophe O-V-E-N, like loving, but lovin'. And then we just have the word fresh over here. These are pre-sliced hot dog buns. This is a total weight of 12 ounces the hot dog buns. Up here at the top, you will see that we have this pretty red border with brown in the middle. And all across the border, you have the little LF logo all the way around. It's neat. Yeah, and all of their breads um, have this khaki colored twist tie on them. Doesn't matter what day of the week it is, they always use just khaki twist ties on here. It's just like a beige color. Yeah, so I thought that was a really good deal, even though one of the buns is kind of messed up. I use that one to make a little bit of garlic toast or something. I don't know that it'll work with a hot dog. We're going to see the Love and Fresh logo three more times. Now this is one I don't buy very often, but I got it to go with a meal I want to prepare one night this week. Here you can see the logo even larger. Look at that. These are Love and Fresh Hawaiian Sweet Rolls and they're so yummy. Oh, they're really good. They're pre-baked. You just heat them up. I find they're really good if you, if you have just a couple of these, if you pop them in the microwave for like 10 seconds, just enough to get them a little bit warm. Oh, they're so good. They're delicious. Now, I think the border on the bag for the Hawaiian Sweet Rolls is my favorite. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at it. Wow. It's kind of orange and then it has this teal pattern in it. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's all crinkled up. Now this uses the little plastic disc instead of an, a little twist tie. So we have this little white disc here that holds it closed. But we still up here have the Love and Fresh logo with the brown border. And we have the little flowers on the plastic bag. These are great. They are so good. They're good and they're not very expensive at all. And have another Love and Fresh item. This is the classic white bread from Love and Fresh. And again, you will see featured on here is the little khaki twist tie. And they, you know, they put these on the hamburger buns, the hot dog buns. Uh, the white bread and some of the other loaves of bread. Not all of them, but some of them. My favorite part about this is the pretty blue up here on the top of the bag. And unlike a lot of store brands, I find that the plastic on the bread at Aldi is much nicer. It's thicker and it's less likely to have a hole in it or to tear which will cause your bread to dry out where it's, you know, torn and you get that little hard spot on your bread. This, um, this plastic is really nice and it never seems to have that problem. Yes, this, this loaf of bread is 20 ounces of sliced bread and at my Aldi it is still only 50 cents for a loaf of this bread. 
Most of the other items have gone up in price, some of them pretty considerably, but so far this is still only 50 cents. So it's still a good, a good deal for a loaf of bread. And it's very nice. It's, uh, it's pretty decent. There's nothing wrong with it. So, yeah. That's one loaf. And we also have the Love and Fresh logo on this. These are Love and Fresh Sandwich Skinnies, and these are really great. They're made of 100% whole wheat, and in this package you're going to get eight pre-sliced little sandwich skinnies. And you can see them here. It's like just like a flatbread kind of thing made with whole wheat, and it's pre-sliced, and it's, it's definitely thin. They call it a sandwich skinny. It's very, very thin. Um, but they come apart very easily. I've never had a problem separating them. They do, they come apart, they don't tear or anything. Each one of these sandwich skinnies, it's a skinny roll. Down here they call it a roll, but it's very thin. Each one of these sandwich skinnies has 110 calories in it. And it's very windy outside today. So if you hear any noise out there, it's probably the wind. It is extremely windy today. This packaging is great. Up here you have a zipper seal and all you do, you tear off this strip here that has the green on it. You just remove this, it's perforated, and you take out, you open the zipper seal and you take out however many you want and then you can just seal it back up. It's wonderful. These are great for a quick little chicken sandwich or you know whatever you want to do with it. I've even used them to make grilled cheese before. It's not bad, actually. It's pretty good. So, yeah. You can also get these in multi-grain, but these are just the 100% whole wheat. And here again, just like um, the other breads, you can see the Love and Fresh logo right there. They don't have a hole in the middle, so it's not like a bagel skinny. It's solid. There's no hole in the middle, although you can't really... You can't really see it because the logo is in the way, but there's no hole in it. And for bread items, I also have these. Now, these are not from Lemon Fresh. These are from Mama Kot Kotze's, Kot Kotze's Pizza Kitchen. It's little mini crusts, and my Aldi... Um, Sometimes I'll go for weeks and not have any of these, but they happen to have some today, so I was very excited. They have two different types. This one is the Thin Mini Pizza Crust, and it also includes three sauce packets. It's in here underneath this part right here, a little packet of sauce, and it's the perfect amount of sauce for a little pizza, it's, and it's actually really good. Sometimes I use my own sauce and I just save the sauce packets for another day. Um, but they're really good. They, you only have to bake them for a little bit. You bake them at 425 degrees with your toppings until it's brown, seven to nine minutes. And they're super simple. So these are the, and there are three in here. You get three mini pizza crusts. These are the thin crusts here. And I also have the original. Now these are a bit thicker. Um, they don't really rise up a whole lot when you bake them. They do a little bit, but you can compare them. You can see here how thin these three look. These are the thin crust ones. And then we have the regular crust ones. So you can see they're a little bit thicker. A little bit. I like both of them. Um, sometimes we'll have a little pizza night and we'll just get toppings and we'll make little mini pizzas with stuff that we want to put on them. We made some a couple of nights ago with some leftover taco. We had some tacos and we had some of the beef left over. So we just put the sauce on there and, and then crumbled the beef on there and the cheese, kind of like 
the little fiestadas we made in a baking video and they were really good. I also have a bag of apples. Now this I believe is a three pound bag of Gala apples and these are Michigan grown. They come from Michigan and at my Aldi they had they had these apples for three dollars and nine cents for a three pound bag of apples and they're really good. This is one of my favorite snacks. I, I love these apples. They're really good and I'm glad that they're still kind of cheap. A lot of the apples have really gone way up but these are still relatively inexpensive. Now these come with a little yellow clip. A little yellow plastic clip up here like a pale yellow. This pretty blue bag. My kids have been on more of a banana and strawberry kick and I did get some bananas and strawberries. Strawberries are actually in the refrigerator and the bananas in, are in there. I didn't bring them in here. I didn't think about it. I went ahead and put them up, but yeah. Lately, I've been the only one really eating the apples, so I get them all to myself because they're more interested in the uh, strawberries and bananas. And I also got some blueberries, and they've been eating those too. So that's my apples. And we have more crinkly things. Now these tortilla chips are so good. These are from Simply Nature, which is an Aldi brand. And usually with the Simply Nature products, you don't find a lot of preservatives or added ingredients. Um, this particular product is organic, non-GMO. Blue corn tortilla chips and they're gluten-free, made with sea salt, and they also have this really good salsa. Um, I believe it's called Market Side Salsa, and it has to stay refrigerated, and my older son really likes it, and he likes it best with these blue corn tortilla chips. So I got these for him to have, his, have with his salsa. Um, I like them too, though. I think they're really good. Here we have some information about Simply Nature. Each of our Simply Nature products is free from over 125 artificial ingredients and preservatives. When it comes to eating well, the choice is simple, Simply Nature. And like a lot of Aldi products, you're gonna see big barcodes everywhere, but usually not so much on the front, but on the back we have two really big ones. That makes it easier for them to scan your items quickly and get you out fast. I think there's a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to shopping at Aldi, especially if you're used to the way other supermarkets are, um, particularly in the South where they bag things for you. And I learned when I lived in Illinois that it's not that way everywhere. And you, you get used to a different pace, but you get into Aldi and they do not have time for your foolishness. I mean, by the time you say hello, they've already rung you up, got your receipt in your hand, and you need to scoot along. There is no time for chit chat in Aldi, which I've really come to appreciate because I never have to wait in line very long and they get you in and out and it's really nice. So these are blue corn tortilla chips. Isn't that beautiful? What a pretty color. I really like it and they are so yummy. I love the nice enlarged picture here to show you what they look like. And they really do, they're really good. This is an 8.25 ounce bag of blue corn tortilla chips. And you get quite a few in there because they're very lightweight and very good. Okay. Oh, this is another favorite. <laughs> Now this is really, I really like these a little bit better. These are more my style right here. These are Clancy's Big Dippers and they're like Tostitos Scoops, although I think these are better. To me, the Tostitos Scoops are a little bit too salty and these aren't quite so bad. So what we have here are tortilla chips. They're kind of shaped like a little bowl. It's like a little scoop and it's really great for using with dips and sauces and things like that comes in this beautiful blue bag. 
it almost has like a, a camouflage effect. You have these different colors of blue overlaying one another. It's like a little blue camouflage. It's very neat. And if you don't know what tortilla chips look like, we have this window and the shape might look a little odd, but it's actually shaped a little bit like one of the Big Dippers. They kind of have this wavy shape to them like that. And it's clear on the inside and you can see the chips in there. And they're, they're really good. Um, this is a 10 ounce bag. At my Aldi, these used to be 85 cents. They are now $1.74. Unfortunately, they've gone up quite a bit. <laughs> But I, I still think they're a good deal. I think it's a great deal. Um, it's less than two dollars still for all these chips, and it will actually it will actually take us a while to eat these. We don't. None of us is really the type to sit down and just gobble up a bag of chips. Um, so what we do, we just take out what we want and take a little clip and just roll the bag down and put a clip on it and stick it back in the cabinet. Like all the other Aldi products, you're going to find a little blue circle on it somewhere, usually on the back, where it says Aldi twice as nice guarantee. And what that means is if you get a product and you don't like it or there's something wrong with it, if you have your receipt, they will give you your money back and they will replace it with a comparable item, which is really great. Like say you got this bag home and you like the chips but there was something wrong with them, like maybe they tasted a little off or something, you can take this bag with your receipt and they'll give you a new bag and give you your money back. So it's a, it's a wonderful guarantee. So yeah, I, I've never had a bad experience with Big Dippers though. So it's like the, the, the constellation, you know, Big Dippers, but they're great. I love them. And if you find Tostito scoops to be a little bit too salty, you might prefer these. It's definitely worth a try. And with the twice as nice guarantee, if you don't like it, you can get your money back and get a comparable item anyway. So it's like almost like you can't lose. We have more crinkles. This one's not super crinkly. Here is a mix. Now this mix is from Southern Grove which if that's an Aldi brand that you see on a lot of nuts. They put it on their nuts, not literally, but all the mixed nuts and peanuts and cashews, anything like that. Typically, if it's an Aldi brand, it's gonna have Southern Grove on it. This is the Relax Trail Mix. Then this mix has a nice bunch of stuff in it. The Relax Trail Mix contains cashews, dried cranberries, dried pineapple with almonds and macadamias. No peanuts. No, you know, it's just, I think it's a great mix. This is good stuff. And again, we have the twice as nice guarantee on the back. Now this package does reseal up at the top, which is very handy. This bag weighs 13 ounces and it just zips right across here with a little zipper seal. And I love it. It's, it's mostly clear, so you can really see the mix really well. It's fabulous. And then we have little illustrations of some of the items in the mix. That's a, that's a beautiful mix. I think it looks great. <laughs> we have all the crinkles in this Aldi haul. Oh, so many crinkles. Now this is another thing I really like. I will have a handful of this usually about mid-morning when I start to feel a little bit hungry. I've had my breakfast, but it's kind of started to wear off a little bit, but it's not quite time for lunch. This is a great little snack to just have a little bit of this to get you through. It has a little bit of sweetness and saltiness to it, which I really like. This product is from Simply Nature. Again, we have the name up here. It is non-GMO. This is dark chocolate sea salt superfoods granola. And that's a mouthful. It's gluten free. It's gluten free oats. And here we have a little opening that looks like a smile. And you can see the little gluten free oats in the granola in here. And it's really good. It's very filling. The ancient grains are amaranth and millet with chia seeds. 
and it's very filling. You just, you know, like a little handful of it, and it's it's amazing how quickly it will satisfy your little your little appetite. And this top up here does reseal. You have these little notches at the top, and you just pull this off. Sometimes it comes off crooked, and you have to kind of cut it a little bit, but it has a zipper seal in here. So you just take out what you want and seal it up. You don't have to find another container to put it in or anything. This pouch is 11 ounces. And there's, there's quite a lot in here. This will last me at least a week because I don't really eat a lot of it at once, just a little bit. I'm not going to sit down and like eat a big bowl of this or anything. Um, yeah, and back here you can see it again through the, there's a little clear place on the back too. Yeah, so it's, it's really good. They have a bunch of different types of granola at Aldi. They really do. Um, back in the gluten-free section, my Aldi has a, a, a strictly gluten-free section near the back of the store, and they have numerous types of gluten-free uh, granolas back there. Um, you can find granola near the cereal section. Um, some of it may be in, near the nuts. So it's kind of all over the store. You might want to wander around. If you like granola, wander around and take a look at all the different granolas they have. They have a, a remarkable selection of granola. All right, I have two little pouches here. I'm making this one tonight. I'm looking forward to this. I had some chicken left over from something I made the other night, and I wasn't really sure what to do with it. It's, it's not cooked or anything. I just stuck it in the freezer, and I saw this. At Aldi, Campbell's Sauces Skillet Sweet and Sour Chicken. And all you have to do is add chicken, and I can make a little bit of rice to go with it. Sweet and Sour Chicken. It's very simple. You put some oil in your skillet over medium high heat, add the chicken, and cook until it's browned. And then you stir in this sauce pouch here and heat it to a bowl, and then reduce it to low and cover it and cook for five minutes or until chicken is cooked through. So you just cut your chicken up into little pieces and you know cook it until it's just browned. Add your sauce, cover it and let it come to a bowl and then cover it and cook it for five minutes. Um, I've tried, I think I tried this once before and I've tried the, uh, the sesame chicken. It's really good. So this is a little 11 ounce pouch of sauce and they have a bunch of different sauces for chicken and um, I, mean, well, I think it's mostly chicken they might have some for other stuff too but yeah I'm looking forward to that because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with that chicken and for the slow cooker we have a pouch for that too we have Campbell's sauces slow cooker beef stew and all you have to do is add beef and vegetables to it and you can do it in any mix that you like. You cook it, uh, cover and cook on low seven to eight hours or until beef is fork tender or on high four to five hours. Usually I'll just start it like mid morning, like 10 o'clock or so, and then just leave it on low until dinner time. That seems to work. So yeah, this I figure I'll make one more thing of beef stew once it starts to warm up, I don't really want it as much anymore, but in colder weather, it's kind of nice. So maybe we'll do one, have one last hurrah, one last beef stew before springtime comes. And now here's something I haven't bought in a while. My kids kind of got tired of pretzels, so I quit buying them. But my younger son asked for pretzels, so I picked up this package of Clancy's pretzels. Look at them, mini twists. This is a one pound bag of little pretzel twists. These are still only 85 cents at my Aldi. And they have the little rods too. Actually today when I went by there, all they had were the twists. They didn't have the rods, but that's a, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's fine. Clancy's, again, is a brand that we saw a minute ago on the Big Dippers. And now Clancy's brand has this, like, a red oval shape, and the word Clancy's in the middle in white, and it's outlined in black. 
And Clancy's is a name you see on a lot of things like chips or pretzels or uh, you know, like tortilla chips, potato chips, things like that. They have different brand names for their different uh, types of products. And if you don't know what pretzels look like, we have this huge opening right here that shows you the pretzels. They also had pub style pretzels, about the same size bag, but those were $2.85. Um, I figure just plain old pretzels will be fine. I don't know what the difference is. They might have some kind of flavoring on them or something. But again, like other items, you see this huge barcode and there's one down here. There's a little bitty one up at the top, <laughs> right up there. So, yeah, we haven't had pretzels in a while, so I might have some myself. I think this is my last crinkle. Now these are for me. I like these. My kids don't like them. Um, this is another Simply Nature item. Every time I see these, though, I think of the dog treats because they, you know, some companies make these for dogs. This is not dog treats. It's almond butter filled pretzels. So it's not peanut butter. It's almond butter. And you can see them here. They're like little pillows. They're like little puffy pillow pretzels. Little puffy pillows. And they are salted. And inside of that puffy pillow pretzel is almond butter, which I love. I think almond butter is really good. And here you can see the little almonds, a little picture of some almonds. This bag is also resealable. And again, you have these, these little notches and you just pull the top off and then you can seal it when, you, when you're done with your pretzels. Yeah, so it's just, um, that's a 15 ounce bag of pretzels with almond butter. The ones with peanut butter are okay. I kind of like these a little bit better though. They just, I don't know, they taste a little bit better to me. The almond butter goes really well with the salty pretzel shell. It's really good. It's really good. I love them. <laughs> And now we're down to the non-crinkly stuff. Well, I have one, one thing here. It's not really crinkly, but it's kind of prickly. <laughs> it's a big old pineapple. Look at that. Wow. They have these pineapples for $1.85. And I'm going to take it to make that cheesy pineapple casserole with the, with the crackers in it. Um, it's really good with fresh pineapple. I mean, you can use canned. Personally, I think fresh pineapple tastes a little bit better, but I couldn't pass it up. This great big pineapple, it's very heavy. Um, it was only $1.85. I had to keep it away from my cat. She kept trying to chew on it, so I, I had to put it where she couldn't get to it. It's ready to eat, according to this. The perfect pineapple, sustainably grown and picked at its peak. Chestnut Hill Farms. Interesting. Yeah, $1.85. I don't know how they do it, but yeah, that's that's a I thought that was a great deal for that big old pineapple. So I'm gonna let it ripen up a little bit, take the top off and do all the stuff you do to a pineapple and let it ripen up. Um, oh, look at these. I went down the aisle of shame and look at these cute little socks I found. I love them. They're for me. I didn't need them, but I thought this pattern was really cool. I love these colors. You have this blue and then like a peach and a burnt orange on there. I like the little stripes. And then I guess this pair is just plain. And then you have a pair back here that's blue striped. These are crew socks, little crew socks. And I really like this pair. I thought they were cute. They were only $4.99 for three pairs of these little socks. But the color, the colors in this pattern just really really caught my eye and I, I wanted them so <laughs> I didn't need them but I really wanted this pair so I got these little socks and you can see that they have them kind of stacked and then back here we have a picture of all three so you don't have to take them out of the package although people do they take them out of the package all the time but you don't have to you can see right there what they look like that's the pair I wanted <laughs> The others are fine too, but I really like this pair. Um, I also got a pack of socks for my older son. These are 
uh, Adventure Ridge, which is an oldie brand, outdoor socks, and it's three pairs of socks. They have a fully cushioned heel and a reinforced heel and toe on them. Um, and they're just plain gray, which he likes. He doesn't like socks with crazy patterns or anything. He wears long socks like this year round. He doesn't like ankle socks or no-show socks. He prefers a crew sock like this. And they're very soft. They're very thick too. Um, I don't remember how much these were. They, I think they were $6.99. They might have also been $4.99. I have my receipt right here. Let's see. Mine were $4.99. I don't see his socks. They should be on here. Oh, oh, the outdoor socks. They were $4.99 also. So yeah, these were only $4.99. Just like mine for the three pairs of socks. They also have socks for uh, steel-toed boots, if you're interested in that. that was. Uh, they still have some at my Aldi. They put them out a week or so ago. Um, socks made to be worn with steel-toed boots. And I, th I think those were $6.99, or maybe those were $4.99. They weren't much for three pairs. I don't need any of those, but I, I did see them, and I know they can be kind of expensive. And they had these little single wick candles on clearance for $1.29, and I already had one of these. I picked up another one. Um, I love this. It's from Huntington Home, which is an Aldi brand. This is a soy blend uh, scented candle. Just has the one wick. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. The name of it is Cereal Milkshake. Like, you know, C E R E A L. Cereal Milkshake. Oh, it smells. I don't know how to describe it. It smells like sugar and marshmallows. It has this really neat, sweet smell to it. And I wasn't gonna get another one, but they had them for $1.29, so I went ahead and got one. I like to burn candles in my room sometimes at night. Um, when the cats are not near them, I put them up where the cats can't accidentally like set themselves on fire, because I, I imagine they probably would if I didn't watch it. <laughs> so, I, so yeah, I already had one, but when I saw they were uh, half price, I went ahead and got a second one. It smells really nice. I like that one. And I bought some little uh, little pouches that go in water bottles of flavoring because I'm trying to drink more water, but I'm not crazy about just plain water. Sometimes I want a little flavor to it. And I don't like putting fruit in water. I mean, I know some people do that. To me, it just makes it taste nasty. I need a little bit more flavor than that. I don't like sparkling flavored water either. I'd rather just not have anything. I'd rather just die of dehydration than drink that. But, so these are from Fit and Active. And that is an Aldi brand. It's usually stuff with lower calories or low fat or something like that. Fruit Punch flavor. These are my favorite. They're sugar-free, low-calorie, and caffeine-free. You get 10 little pouches in here. Um, I think it was 85 cents for that. And I have those in a bunch of different flavors, but I think Fruit Punch is my favorite. And an item they had up near the register, you know, up near the register sometimes you find stuff that they only have, it's like seasonal stuff. They had Lucky Charms treats, Leprechaun Trap. There's a Leprechaun Trap on the back. I think you must have to cut it out and turn it into a trap or something. Really, the only difference about these, I, I didn't realize this until I got home, it just has a limited edi edition packaging, like the, the treat itself is exactly the same. Um, little marshmallow bars. I'm not crazy about them, but my kids sometimes will take one to eat on the way to school. Marshmallow shapes and colors may vary. I, I don't really like them, maybe they taste weird, but... So this is, uh, you have eight bars in here for a total of 6.8 ounces. These fun little bars from Lucky Charms. And another favorite here is toaster tarts. Oh my goodness, toaster tarts. 
These are from Millville, which is an Aldi brand that you see on a lot of cereals. They have a lot of dry cereals and things. These are like Pop-Tarts, and they do come in different flavors. You can get brown sugar cinnamon, s'mores, strawberry. I think they have a blueberry. And this one is Frosted Chocolate Fudge Toaster Tarts. You get a total of 12 toaster tarts in this box. Now you're going to find them inside, wrapped in full packages. What's well, it's mylar, but it looks like full, like aluminum full, little silver packages. Each package has two toaster tarts in it for a total of six packages with two each. The total weight of this box is 22 ounces, and these are still relatively cheap. I think they're less than two dollars, and they have no certified synthetic colors. Um, I'm not a big fan of toaster pastries. My kids will eat them right out of the box. They don't heat them up or anything. They just eat them like they are. <laughs> so that's for them. I don't really like them. I wanted to tell you that for everything I got, and there's even more here that I don't show, like I got some chicken, I got some celery, ground beef, um, tomatoes. I have other stuff that's put away, and even more that I haven't shown you yet. It was $98.33 for everything. I was trying to see how much my toaster tarts were. I got a gallon, oh, I got milk as well. The gallon of milk was $2.40. And the fresh cut salsa was only $2.19. That's in the refrigerator as well. Um, I don't see my toaster. Oh, my toaster tarts were only $1.49. So this box was only $1.49. So it's not bad at all. I don't think the price on those has really gone up in the last six months or so. Now these, I like these. These are from Savor It, which is another Aldi brand that you will see on some boxes of crackers, like their version of Townhouse Crackers, which they call Clubhouse Crackers. These are mini, naturally flavored cheese sandwich crackers, and it's like little Ritz crackers, like little tiny Ritz sandwich crackers, and they have cheese flavoring in them, um, and they also have these with peanut butter inside. This is an 8.8 ounce box of these pretty little cheese sandwich crackers. You can also get boxes of these in individual little packets. This just has them running loose in here all banging around together in the box. It's not individual packets of cheese crackers. The filling contains real cheese. Wow. And we have our barcodes everywhere. There's one. There's one. This is the front, I suppose. You don't have one there. There's one. Yeah, so they're really good. These are a neat little snack, too. I like these. Um, I can't eat a bunch of them, though. They're a little bit salty for my taste, but I like them. They're good. <laughs> and I got this to make for myself. My kids didn't really like it. I bought this one other time, and they didn't like it, but I really did. This is specially selected macaroni and cheese smoked gouda, uh, Italian pasta with creamy cheese sauce. I thought it was really good, but they didn't like it. Neither one of them liked it, but I wanted to make some more for myself. It's imported from Italy. This is a 6.5 ounce box of this stuff, and it's so, it's so good. Oh my goodness. I like it. Um, I might make some and have it with my chicken. I don't know. I might just eat it by itself. I, I, I am not above making a box of macaroni and cheese and just eating it with nothing else. I've done that many times. Now this is for me. This is my favorite cereal. I eat some of this every morning. Fit and Active Vitality Cereal. And this cereal has red berries. You can see the little red bits here and the flakes. It's comparable to Special K Red Berries. Um, this is a crunchy rice and wheat flake cereal with strawberries. I think it's better than Special K, honestly. I do. I think it tastes better. It has a better flavor to it. This is an 11.2 ounce box. And these, this box of cereal is $1.89. And I stock up. I usually keep three or four boxes of this available. Because sometimes they run out. 
so I like to keep a little bit extra on hand so I have it available to me but yeah my, my kids don't care for this either but that's okay I like it they have their own cereal and that's mine and then finally I have some juice I have two bottles of juice now this is one they haven't had at Aldi in forever. They haven't had this in probably six months. They finally got it back. Now this is from Nature's Nectar, which you will see on a lot of Aldi juices. They have grape juice, um, like apple juice and stuff like that. This is white grape juice. It's 100% juice made with concentrate, made with North American Niagara grapes. A 64 ounce bottle of juice. And this was only $1.69, and it's really good. I cannot tell the difference between this and Welch's grape juice, which is like twice as much. It's, it's actually really good. I like it myself. And finally, this was on the seasonal food aisle. It's not the aisle of shame, but in my Aldi, it's just the next aisle over where they have food that they don't have all the time. And sometimes they have drinks. And today they had V8 Splash Strawberry Kiwi Juice. And you see it kind of collects on the bottom. It kind of, it's kind of swirly. You're supposed to shake it up a little bit. I think this was $2.39. But my younger son loves Strawberry Kiwi Juice. So I got this for him. I thought he might like that. This is also a 64 ounce bottle. And... You can't really see it, but the, the stuff in there kind of, if you move it around a little bit, it kind of swirls, but you can't really see it that well. But I mainly got this for my younger son. I'm more of a fan of the white grape juice myself. And one thing I like when my kids were little, I preferred to get this kind of grape juice because if this gets on the rug, it won't stain like the purple kind does. <laughs> it's sticky and you still have to clean it out, but at least it doesn't stain like the dark juice does. So that is everything that I had to show you today. It was a nice trip to Aldi. I really did enjoy it. I love getting to go and see what kind of new stuff they have every week because every week it's, it's always different stuff. So they have a lot of the same stuff, but then you go to the Isle of Shame and the seasonal food aisle and you never know what you're gonna find there. It's always kind of an adventure. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see all of the items that I bought today. I really like my socks. I think my socks are, are my favorite. <laughs> it's just such a cool pattern. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.